Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today we will learn how to configure Okta single sign-on for Argo CD. Okta is nothing but a leading identity and access management solution and single sign-on enables user to securely authenticate with Argo CD through a centralized identity provider which simplifies the access management and enhances the security. So by integrating Okta with Argo CD, you can streamline the user authentication and provide seamless access to your Kubernetes deployments. Now there are also other options like uh, GitHub or GitLab, but we will be using Okta for authentication because Okta is a specialized identity and access management platform, while GitHub and GitLab are primarily source control and CI CD tools with basic authentication capabilities. So first, let's see the prerequisites. You should have an AWS account with Ubuntu 24.04 EC2 instance up and running. Then you should have Minikube kubectl installed in your system and also basic knowledge of Kubernetes and Okta. So let's see the first step, setting up Okta. So for that, login into your Okta account, go to applications. Here tap integration. Here we will select SAML 2.0. Now uh, we will use it instead of OIDC, SW and API services because it is specifically designed for enterprise grade single sign-on while OIDC here is a lightweight and uh, ideal for modern apps. SW and API services lack the scalability and security SAML, SAML, sorry, offers the for seamless authentication across multiple platforms. So we will be using it. So click on next. Now here, give the admin. You can upload the app logo. Here, select both checkbox and click on next. Now let's enter the single sign on URL https colon double slash. Let's copy the public IP address of our EC2 instance and paste it here. Then port 80. Here, that's all that. Then let's keep it as it is for recipient URL and destination URL, and also same for audience URL. Scroll down here, we will give name, email, name format basic, and value user.email. And in the group, name is group, name format basic, filter start with matches physics, and we will use this. Now click on next. Now select the checkbox of this is an internal app that we have created. Click on finish. So now our app is created. Here you can see the metadata URL, single sign on URL, sign out URL, issuer and signing certificate. 
we will be using it. So go to assignments. Here we will assign user to our app application. So click on assign, assign to people. Assign. So now we have assigned us people. So you can add more or you can even add groups. Now next, let's go back to sign on tab. Scroll down here. Click on view assignment setup instructions. So this is the identity provider single sign on URL which we will be using, and we will also using X dot five zero nine certificate. Let's move to the next step. Our next step is install and configure our Google. So first, let's copy this command. We will create a new namespace called Argo CD in the Kubernetes cluster. So now our namespace Argo CD is created. Next, we will install Argo CD in the Argo CD namespace, which we have created by applying the YAML file from the provided URL. So let's use this command. So now our Argo CD is installed. Next, let's list all the resources it provides the overview of the Argo CD setup as you can see sorry you can see the ports services deployments replica sets and much more now they are still not ready. The container is creating. Let's run this command again. So now most of them are ready. Just one command. Just wait a minute. So now all our pods are up and running. run the kubectl edit service command yep. edit the type from cluster IP to node port let's modify it are doing this because cluster IP exposes the service only within the cluster and node port makes the service accessible externally via specific ports on the nodes. So let's save the file. Now let's run this command again to see if it's changed from cluster IP to node port or not. So here you can see our Argo CD server, it's changed to node port. Now, now next, we will create a octa.cert file. Here, inside this file, we will copy our first element x.509 certificate in that and paste it inside that file let's save the file now next we will 
encode the file into base 64 format. Now let's copy it. Just a minute. Copy it and save it somewhere like Notepad. We will be using it later. So now next, let's edit the config map. Argo CDCM. Here we will include the SML integration details. So here we will we will modify this file. So let's go here, and we will add this data section into our file. So let's copy it. See here. Um, and here we will enter our own SSO single sign on URL. So go back to the Octa account. Let's copy, paste it inside the file, and also we will include our own CTO public IP address. Same in the URL section. So now we have edited the redirect URL and the URL. Now here in the CA data, we will paste our base 64 encoded CA file. To notepad, let's copy it. Paste it inside the file. Okay. Now let's save the file. So now our config map, Argo CD CM edited. Now next, we will restart the Argo CD server. So now our Argo CD server is restarted. So it must have applied the changes now. Now let's run the port forward command. It forwards the traffic from your local machine port 880 to the Argo CD server service port 880 in the Kubernetes cluster and this hyphen hyphen address 0.0.0.0, .0, 0, 0, 0 ensures the service is accessible from any IP addresses, not just the local host. So let's run it. Now let's open the web browser. Here we will enter our public IP address of our EC2 instance in the URL and then port 880. Go to advanced. Proceed. So here you can see the Argo CD user interface. Let me just do this now. So now 
click on login via Okta. Just wait a minute. Sorry, there's a small error. Let me show you. So here, inside the file, the URL was written uh, to space forward. So make sure your syntax is correct, correct of the file. Uh, now I have written, uh, rewritten the file. Now our service is also running. Now let's click on login via Okta. So as you can see, we have logged in inside our application without entering the username and password. And with Okta single sign up, you can now enjoy the automatic authentication and direct access to the Orgo CD, eliminating, eliminating the need for manual logins. So by integrating the Okta single sign-on we have seen today with the Orgo CD, it will streamline the authentication, making it secure, efficient and user-friendly and this setup not only enhances the security but also it uh, helps uh, it centralize the authentication policies and by following these steps which we have seen today you can ensure a smoother more productive experience for your team while reducing the complexities of managing multiple user accounts. So that's all for today guys, thank you.